ABC 7 News is committed to building a better Bay Area, and transit is one area that we are focused on improving big time. It's why we spent all last week talking about BART, which hundreds of thousands of people ride every day, maybe you. Uh, we received a lot of emails and questions and some suggestions. One came from Ronald. He said, come to San Leandro Station. We have a door that never locks, and people just walk out the door without paying. I complained to the agents. Uh, she said they no, and nothing gets done. So today, we went to the San Leandro BART station to check it out. It's an everyday sight on BART. People walking through the emergency exit to avoid paying the fare. ABC 7 News monitored the San Leandro station for an hour today. We saw people jump the gate while others squeezed next to a paying customer to get through the barriers. And fare evasion is frustrating for our customers. It's frustrating for us. BART estimates it loses out on 15 to $25 million a year from fare evasion. There are legitimate uses for the swing gates. This man pushed a rolling cart through, then went back to pay his fare. But the most brazen fare evaders simply walk through the emergency exit right in front of the station agent. So why don't the agents stop them? Station agents are primarily for customer service. They are trained in responding to medical emergencies, but they are not law enforcement personnel. Station agents can call BART police, but the agency is trying a new approach. In 2017, BART began adding metal wires to keep people from jumping the barriers. Swing gates were also modified. They actually have a lock on them, and if you open that, your picture will be taken and an alarm goes off. 14 stations will have these additional barriers by July. So what about San Leandro? San Leandro is on the list for next fiscal year, which begins in July. In the meantime, more fare inspection agents are patrolling the trains. They will ticket passengers who can't provide proof of payment.